Raphael Devers coming off a great night four for five with two home runs and six runs batted in. Ground ball to Thales. Second for one back to first in time. Nice play by Roddy Thales on both ends. If you want to be good you've got to practice and he's been out here practicing the backhand. Didn't really have a good grip on that ball as he went to second base to get the first out. And now the Blue Jays have handled Chris this year. They faced him twice. He's pitched nine innings. He's going to 14 hits and eight earned runs against the Blue Jays this year. Okay, Galvis jumps on the first pitch and rips it all the way to the wall and left. He's around first. He'll head to second with a leadoff double for Galvis. He doesn't waste any time. A little room service fastball right down Broadway for Freddie. He's just in smoke. One two to smoke and that one tagged through the hole for a base hit. So Toronto has their second knock against Chris Sale with one out in the second inning. So Sale now with two outs and a man at first will face Rowdy Telez. Telez dropped down into the eighth spot. Telez hits it high and deep to left field. Ben Intendi back. This ball is off the wall. Smoke is headed for a third. Ben Intendi double clutched and that allows Telez to slide into second. Well, I don't know what Ben Intendi was thinking about. If there was some communication and if he came up firing to second base, he would have been out. It's 261, 14 home runs for Michael. One for four last night. 1-1 one, one pitch it hard on the ground, fair down the line. Third base side will kick off the short retaining wall in left as Guriel comes over to get it. Michael Chavis jogs into second base. He's got a one out double here in the third. Brock Hole looking to pick up an RBI here and get the Red Sox on the board. Goes the other way for a base hit. Chavis will romp into third. He'll stop there. So the Red Sox getting the bats going here. First and third and one away for Mookie Betts. Yeah. Mookie took a walk in the first inning. Ground ball and they've got the runner hung up. Chavis broke toward home. They got him in a rundown. You got to get the pitcher out of there and Rowdy Telez swipes at Chavis and he is out. Rowdy did a good job. They don't want pitchers in these rundowns at all. Rowdy came down from first base and said I got it Jake get out of the way. Two away now for Rafael Devers. There's a base hit to left field. Holtz in the score and here comes Mookie Betts. The throw from Gur Guriel not in time. They'll go to second. Also. Oh, I thought he was safe. Boy, it looked like he slid underneath the tag, and I think Boston's going to have a look at yeah, that one. Yeah, the Blue Jays are coming off the field, and Boston's trying to figure out what they want to do. Jansen's throw is high, and Devers slides in there. He looks safe to me. Yeah, they're going to look at this one, and they will probably overturn it. The high throw means Kevin Biggio can't get that glove down in time. And they call him safe, and that's the right call. Two gone for Guriel. Bases are empty. Red Sox up two zip. High fly ball deep to center. Jackie Bradley Jr. looking up. This ball is gone. He got to that inside eater. Pitching inside is great, but don't miss because that ball can go a long way. And Chris Sale missed on that one. Christian Vasquez flied to right in his first at bat. And now he swings it to fly ball to deep center field. On his horse is Grichik. He's not going to get there. It's gone. Into the batter's eye in the first row. Christian Vasquez goes deep, his 13th home run of the season. And the Red Sox get the run back that the Blue Jays got on the Guriel homer. Dead central. I mean, that is some pop. Did that take off? I mean, did Susie hit it? I thought it was gone. I mean, it was gone. This guy is. He is having some kind of power surge. One on and one out for Toronto. Here's Danny Jansen swung on and belted deep left field. This game is tied. He absolutely crushed that. Danny Jansen who just missed the last one popped it up doesn't miss this one. Brandon Drury is one for two. Murray hits it high and deep to center. Get up ball. Get up ball. Get out of here. Jury. His first home run since the 5th of June. And that's going to be it for the big lefty. Four pitch walk to Rowdy. He was two for three tonight. Brings up Brandon Drury, who has the biggest swing of the ball game so far. That one's smacked to left field all the way down the line. It's going to go to the wall. 
Telez does not run very quickly. He scampers into third though and stops there. And it's another hit by a guy in the bottom third of their order. Speaking of good plate appearances, how about Freddie Galvis this night? He's been on base all four times he's come to the plate. Now the infield is coming in. High fly ball. This will score a run. Rowdy Telez back to third base to tag. Here he comes home. Freddie Galvis, what a night for Freddie. It'll be Michael Chavis to stand in now against Giles. Fly ball to right field, Drury. Jogging back just at the edge of the warning track, and that's the ball game. Ken Giles picks up the save, and the Blue Jays win it 6 3.